Good morning, sober people. And if you're not sober, welcome to the channel. I'm Wayne, and I'm an alcoholic. I hope you enjoyed my last little video because truly, I am actually happy about that because it gave me a little bit of strength in order to keep pushing this along for you guys. Today is January, oh my gosh, it's almost over, January 17th, 2021. Today's daily reflection is very fitting, especially after what I just spoke about. Happiness comes quietly. If you're ready to hear about it, stay tuned. Let's go. Happiness comes quietly. Let's get it. The trouble with us alcoholics was, we demanded that the world give us happiness and peace of mind in just the particular order we wanted to get it. Mm-hmm. By the alcohol route. And we weren't successful. But when we take the time to find out some of the spiritual laws and familiarize ourselves with them and put them into practice, then we do get happiness and peace of mind. There seems to be some rules that we have to follow, but happiness and peace of mind are always here, open and free to anyone. Dr. Bob and the good old timers, page 308. The simplicity of Al the Alcoholics Anonymous program teaches me that happiness isn't something I can demand. It comes upon me quietly when I serve others. In offering my hand to the newcomer or to someone who has relapsed, I find that my own sobriety has been recharged and indescribable gratitude and happiness. That is where I am completely at in my life right now, people. You know, back when I was down, way down, and, and a lot of you have heard about my rock bottom. If you, if you want to read the full story, it's actually on a, a three or four part series on Instagram. You can check it out. It is um, uh, what it was like, what happened, and what it's like now, and my rock bottom. Those, those are the title for the videos. You can go check them out. Um, just add, add one sober to another on Instagram. And that wasn't a plug. That was just to let you know that it's out there. It's free to watch. Um, so happiness is something that, you know, I thought that was at the bottom of a bottle or in my case about, I don't know, 80 every week, 80 every weekend rather. And I thought that happiness was what I drank. And I thought that because, you know, the, the endorphins that 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 alcohol you know soothed you know thought made me think that I was happy I say you know a lot but it made me think that I was happy and it made me think that you know what I was experiencing was actually true happiness but it wasn't this is true happiness for me this is true happiness for me this is true happiness for me and you want to know why I say that too because I found that through my sobriety and through, for me, working the Alcoholics Anonymous program and independently as well as through the fellowship, I find that through my higher power, I'm able to experience joy by giving to other people. That, that is really a dumb statement to a whole lot of folks and that's because we alcoholics and addicts are completely selfish and if we don't get what we want, right now, then we're not happy. And the way we're gonna take care of that is through our number one solution. And that is either getting drunk or getting high. And that's where the whole spirituality and the recovery part come into my life is that I can experience all that without the negative consequences of alcohol, you know, of getting drunk and blacking out and forgetting everything that I do and being on automatic pilot or autopilot destroying lives and destroying people as I go, getting legal charges, losing all my money and all that stuff that alcohol brings with it. I can experience that happiness without the drink. That's what I do now. And I, I do that by, you know, enjoying the, the things that my higher power has allowed me to experience. I've been 
actually criticized before for using the word allow. Weird. Sometimes my ego gets attacked. That's still one of my character defects. So you might hear about it a little bit once in a while. I try to like put that on the DL. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you're looking at the top of my head again. The trouble with us alcoholics was this. We demanded that the world give us happiness and peace the way we wanted it. And catered and on a platter and right in my face is how I want all my things to go. And if it's not there and it's not on the tray and it's not for me right now, I told you, I go back to what I know best, folks. And that's the drink. And in your case, it might be a drug. It might be, you know, porn. It might be gambling. It might be whatever. If you are able to listen to a higher power, something greater than yourself, it doesn't have to be the God factor, folks. I mean, I talk about that all the time. It doesn't have to be the God factor. Then you are able to experience joy through giving to other folks instead of yourself. That's the bottom line of this for me. And through service and through reaching out to somebody who is in trouble or somebody who has just walked through the doors of Alcoholics Anonymous or in my case has hit me up on you know Reddit or in my email or whatever and they are at a point where they need some help and I extend my hand to them that's where I experience true happiness people I do that or I experience that because I'm giving back what I got freely, and that is the relief of the obsession of alcohol. And in your case, it might be drugs, man. It might be heroin. It might be oxycodone. It might be um, oxycontin. It might be, you know, even even suboxone or methadone. You know, those are still bridges, you know, for heroin and stuff like that. Opiate addiction. Now, I'm not going to talk about that much because I don't know about it. But if you want to hear more about uh, suboxone and everything else hit my man up at veterans with anxiety he's he's awesome and he shares his stories a lot and they are quite colorful and very vivid and will put you exactly where he is in his mind about his addiction and everything else check him out i'll put that uh that link in the description happiness comes to me through helping other folks and seeing them thrive and seeing them you know go from destitute to you know, hopeful. And really, I can't, I don't, I, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist or social worker. I can't, I can't cure anybody. And I, there is no cure for me for, al for my alcoholism. So I don't know if somebody out there has, I don't, I don't know. But I can help them with my stories and with my experiences. And hopefully that will help them a little bit and uh, give them a little bit of hope that there is, you know, a possibility for a better life because I, I, I live it every day, man. And I try to share that with you guys, and I, I'm not bragging at all. I just want you to know that there is there is happiness and peace out here, you know. And it comes quietly, it comes slowly. And to be humble and live in humility is something that I wasn't used to because I did 20 years in the army, as a lot of folks know. And I just talked about it in the last video. And you know, my job was to be out front and be the man. Well, while doing that. When I was done being the man, I was I was locked in my my apartment in self pity and and wallowing in all the things that I thought I deserved that I don't have and drinking myself to stupid, you know, and to death in the process. But through through being able to share with you guys, I experience happiness, and that's what I'm putting out in this video. That's what I'm trying to come across as, you know, happiness comes quietly. So. If, I, I think it's amazing and the this is really joy on my face and I'm not like too explicit on my emotions or anything but I'm getting better at it little by little that's all I got for today folks I hope that you have a great day I'm one sober to another life's a garden dig it if you've liked this video drop a like man and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet Go ahead and do that if you want to. If you want to see some of this and you want to see me talk about being stupid and stuff like that, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos and daily reflections and journey with me. Oh, oh, stand by. Hang on one sec, folks. One sec. Give me 22 seconds. What am I at? Like 12? Something like that. All right. 
quick shout outs. I want to make sure these people are okay. If you are, give me a thumbs up in the comments and let me know, you know, you're all right. Cause I, I'm really concerned about you guys as you know, what I mean is you're on my mind by, you know, I'm just hoping you're good. Dinah Armstrong. I hear a little bit from you. I see you, you know, liking some of my Instagram posts and stuff like that. I hope life is treating you well and a little bit better than the last time we spoke. If you are, and if it is, drop a like and in the comments put, I good. David Theus, Ashley Kestner, Mitchell Coleman, and Esther McCarley. Uh, feel free to drop me a thumbs up and a like. If you've liked these videos, keep watching Life's a Garden. Dig it. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.